Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. The Vikings are now on the clock. 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 Start your week by installing your game plan.
This player's development trait is hidden. Put this player... Start your week by installing your game plan. Today, from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. see Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings versus Matt Ryan and the Green Bay Packers. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived... set to take over on first and ten Cousins and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down it's another zone defense it looks like it's open for possibilities but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion there's a ball thrown right side and complete the 40 try 
take away everything. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't would even do know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Max with the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First down, here's Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. throw here right side he holds it in and he will score touchdown Justin Jefferson so the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over a quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Samson Abukum. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Now they'll be tipped and intercepted. And the ball's out from near midfield. He's got the lane, and there he goes. One point in time. Touchdown, Minnesota. So that Charles, his second touchdown of the ball game. He had the more standard receiving touchdown earlier. This time he finds the end zone in the run game. Yeah, it's almost as if he said, well, that's how I normally do it. That's almost boring. Give me another opportunity. This time I'll use my legs only and get into the end. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. The ball carrier decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Well, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. That's good. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Cousins toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Justin Jefferson, the rookie, his intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. From the gun, here's Cousins. Steps away to his left. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. And incomplete is the screen there, unsuccessful. So now fourth down coming up. It's now. Ray Cernan did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Thanks, 
so the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over Chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. This is caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kirk Cousins. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 52 yards. So we've reached halftime here. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Will Lutz set to kick off. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling. These So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Cousins escaping the pressure right. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown. yard line as this offense gets set to take over. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Not good for 22 and a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And that'll be incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jeff. in there but it'll be second down he was defended by Patrick Peterson from the shotgun it's Cousins taking a deep shot here for Hardman and that gonna be incomplete good effort there trying to take a shot but it's third down I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. 25 yards that time. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. 
And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Again, it's Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but now it's third and goal. All right, Captain, he's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Oh, that's just not fair. And now we're on the run. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's the Vikings in possession of the football and the lead. They'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. He got 29 yards that time. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And these numbers on our monitor are getting hard to believe. He's closing in now right on the doorstep of 500 yards passing. I'm glad that you watched the monitor and said it first because I had trouble absorbing that. That's big time right there, right? That means everything just about has gone right for them and his squad in this game. And he will score. Touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And now the drive starts with the completion out to the right. And with this well up field across the 45. That's good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against the Wing and they ended up giving it up. Two more yards there and another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he sidestepped one man, but reinforcements come to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. He was third down. He tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled. Second and six, just inside the 30. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he's got some space here. And he will take this all the way down to the Packers' 23-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Again, he finds an opener. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. 
Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On the draw, it's Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll run here with Lindsey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Here we go, a big play and a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. On the move to his left. And it was incomplete. They're turned away on... in the action because the booth they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not so the ref makes a call no touchdown there wipe it off the board the drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins and he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poirier. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Lesson two. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Cousins going to bring his guys up for the two-point try. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. It's the former Patriot, Devin McCoy. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. hesitation in this situation down a couple scores late in the game this offense is staying out there on fourth they're going on fourth down it's Ryan and some room to run now and he will take this one home it's a touchdown and that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback with emphasis Interception, return for touchdown. Door 
closed, locked, reinforced. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good 